Hello, boss. Welcome to Elf Bubble, you are New Energy. Today, I'm going to show you the three containers. One is 500 kilowatts, 1.2 megawatt hours. Let's have a look. One container is 500 kilowatts, 1.2 megawatt hour system. Actually, this system can be much more bigger. And due to the design, for now, we only make it 1.2 megawatt hour. If we only use 500 kilowatts modular PCS, then the maximum capacity we can do is 2 megawatts hour liquid cooling system. This system is air cooling system, but if you have more demands and you want a liquid cooling system, definitely we also can produce. And the maximum capacity will be 2 megawatts hour for liquid cooling system in one 20 feet container. Let's go and to see how we combine this system. This battery clusters, one cluster is 200 kilowatts hour. And in this space, 20 feet container, the two space is two cluster that will be 400 kilowatts hour. And we have a total six class clusters. Dun, 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 dun. So here, another 200 kilowatts hour. Let's see how the battery clusters were produced, okay? This is a battery module, okay? One module with uh, one BMU. This BMU will control the battery voltage, temperature, and all the details. That's, uh, this will give the feedback to the BCU, the controller box, okay? High voltage controller box. Let's go. And then we will connect it to the BAMU. It will connect it to another side. Later, we'll show you. Look, here is the PCS with the isolation transformer. Why you need the isolation transformer? This is uh, a condition, okay? This application will be only used to do when your grid electricity is not stable. That's why we need the isolation transformer. This is a 500 kilowatts PCS with the isolation transformer. And this will use three 500 kilowatts PCS to parallel to 1,500 kilowatts. This is the main controller box. Let's have a look. This main controller box, as we said, this battery mode, batteries, it's a three level protection. After the BCU, it will connect the cables to the BAMU. The BAMU then goes to the connected to the EMS. So from the EMS, you can see all the data, okay? And if you have a master EMS like overseas, for example, this system we use DEF, D-I-E-F controller, master controller. One master to controller will connect with our three containers. So to control all these three containers. Another question that all clients are concerned about is the cooling system. Okay, we got two kinds of cooling system in our system energy storage. One is air cooling. For example, this system is 0.5C, okay, less than 0.5C. So we use air cooling system with air conditioner. So the air conditioner will, when it works, it will give the cooling uh, air to this whole system and the battery fan, on each battery module, we got the fans, you see. The fan will take out the heating from the battery module and uh, doing one cycle, cycle life like a cycle, cycles and doing cycles like they, like this. Air cooling goes into the battery pack. The heating comes out from the battery pack. Okay, this is one kind of cooling system. And we got another one, liquid cooling. And this will be most popular in Europe. If you are interested, you are, can contact with us so we can send you our best offer. And uh, also one more thing is for 1C charging and discharging, and that definitely we use uh, liquid cooling because you know, the cells, when it works at 1C discharging too fast, the cell easy to get temperature, okay? The easy to get hot. So liquid cooling will be much more efficient. Thank you.